I know what you all are thinking, but this isn't as it looks. I promise I had nothing to do with this. He just sort of flipped over on his own. Goodbye. What's up, guys? It's Multi24 Gaming, and I am here with episode 5 of American Truck Simulator. And this time we will be going to the south. Um, so I think in this video we will reach our southernmost point. Um, on the American Truck Simulator map, down here either to San Diego or El Centro. Um, so, but what we're going to be doing is we're going to be following the coast the entire way. Um, and so, we've just taken a job, and what's it? what it's going to want us to do is, like, go the fastest way, which would be like this. But what we're actually going to do is go over here and follow the coast the whole way down. Alrighty. So let's start it off. The first time in our series that it's been raining. Um, and I do apologize, it is the middle of the night, but uh, yeah, that, that happened. But we are off to go find our trailer, and then we will begin our journey down the coast. It's kind of cool to see the rain coming down. Uh, that's not something that usually happens in the desert area, as that's where we are. We are in uh, California right now, and so... In the west, it doesn't rain too much, so the rain probability in this game is way down. Lots of thunderstorms here. Well, in um, Euro Truck Simulator, and I lived in Germany, so I know there's a ton of rain, but like hardly any uh, thunderstorms. Just gets kind of annoying. Sometimes you miss the thunderstorms in both Truck Simulator and in real life. So the game developers have actually been letting us know a lot of things about the game so far, and what we have is um, today, actually, they released the Kenworth uh, 900 or something. It's a type of truck, and um, if you're familiar with Transformers, it's the truck that Optimus Prime scanned. Uh, the developers are also giving us a lot of info on the DLCs that are coming out, um, such as the Arizona DLC. I'm not quite sure when that will show up, but uh, hopefully within the next month, and then we can add it to the end of the series, which will, which will be really cool. Okay, looks like we're turning right here. We are in the middle of nowhere, in the rain, in a thunderstorm, and there's not a bed in the back of my truck, because it's a smart truck. Whoa, it's like a whole big factory sort of thing. Cool. That's a really cool place. It's like a huge uh, sewage treatment plant or something. Whoa, that was menacing. Alright. We're going in. Shimas. Apparently. I just need to level up like two more times and then I'll have enough money or uh, be the proper level um, in order to buy a new truck. All right, we're going to go to Bakersfield, and then we're going to take the first right, and I guess follow all the signs to Los Angeles, but we're going to go straight for a couple times. So we're going to make sure we cross both of the uh, both of the main highways that go by in that direction, and, um, and then we'll look for the signs that take us to Los Angeles. Gosh darn you... Stupid police car. Oh, yeah, okay, so I. Alright, that's it. Police car. You are over. This is all the police car's fault. He brought this upon himself. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Police car? Um. I know what you all are thinking, but this isn't as it looks. I promise I had nothing to do with this. He just sort of flipped over on his own. Now, if you'll excuse me, car. Yeah, if you've seen my other videos, you guys will know how much I really hate police cars. This guy just needs to go. Die. Yeah. Goodbye. If I ever see you again, I will be extremely impressed. Bye. Goodbye. Farewell. Farewell, upside-down police car. Goodbye. 
I didn't do that. And thus ends the stalker police car. Fire hydrant. No! Stupid truck. Now I have that visit service thing again. Yeah, you better just don't you get any closer. Or I'm, or I'm warning you. Screw you over. Screw you over. So we're going to take a very small road over to the coast, I think. Yeah, we're going to go to the coast again. Remember last time? We went to that epic beach. Remember that? And we sat there. And it, it, it was... It was just awesome. Yay! Hello, lonely truck. Let's be lonely together. Bye. Truck, wait, come back. You were my only friend. <laughs> you and that sign. Oh, what sign? Did you say something? Oh, you don't like me? Why don't you like me? Oh, yes, I did manage to murder a few of your cousins. Is that a blimp? Yeah, there's a blimp up there. Oh, did you look at that? A blimp. What? What did I do? Oh, uh, police guys. They all hate me. So, we'll just take every right that's possible. Every single right. Cool. Just take some rights. That's all we have to do. Ah, uh, that means we're actually going to be going this way. Sorry, GPS. We don't really care about your opinions on things. So... We're going this way. You know, I might, I may just stop to go to the beach. Remember last time we went to the beach? <gasps> People! And they're all at the beach. Oh, look at this. They don't look like they have clothes on. Is it just me or do they look naked? Another thing I remember uh, reading about is that the game developers, now the offenses aren't overwhelmingly screw you over you. Uh, as in, if you crash into another car, the offense isn't 5,000 bucks. Now, I know it wasn't that obnoxious, but it was pretty obnoxious. And, um, recruitment agency. Uh, but they've fixed that, and also, uh, the, they've improved the turn right on red stuff. So, remember all those times I, like, turned right on red, and then they find me? Well, that's fixed. Uh, it, it's both a combination of the fact that, uh, they had a couple bugs when it came to that, and also that I never turn, uh, did the turn signal, of course, because I didn't stop. So um, now I know that if I want to um, have that privilege of turning right on red, I need to use my turn signals, or I will get fined. Here, I have my turn signal on, and I turned right on red. There we go. That was the wrong right, apparently. See, turn right, turning right on red. Oh, this is all your fault. Yep, you brought that upon yourself, car. I wonder what the heck that is. I guess it's a building, a retarded building. That's for sure. Mm, yeah, obviously one of the things I didn't think about when I decided to follow the coast was that the speed limit on these small roads are always going to be, like, really low. I'm going to do that. What? Maybe that wasn't the most amazing idea I've come up with. On the bright side, we're allowed to get back up to 70 miles an hour now, which is extremely fast. Tractors! There's tractors! Look at the tractors! They're nice tractors. Look at those tractors. Oh, they're so nice. Alright, so we've got a rather difficult situation ahead of us. Um, we are really low on sleep, but also what we need is um, to deliver this on time. And if we go to sleep, we'll wake up like 12 hours later and there will be absolutely no hope of delivering our package on time. So we're going to have to um, be uh, sleep deprived for a little bit. And hopefully we don't get that fine, because there is a fine if you don't sleep. Hey, blimp, there's that... Is it the same blimp? Could be. I wonder. That would be awesome if it was the same blimp. Oh, look, the blimp is turning now. It's turning. Or maybe we're just driving. Uh, no, it is definitely turning around. 
Well, it doesn't look like we've said goodbye to the coast yet. We're back again. I wonder how many times we're going to see the coast. I mean, I'm not complaining. I like it. Oh, boy. Oh, that was... Th that feels really weird. <gasps> train! Look at the train go by! Look at the train go by. Hi, train. I've always wanted to drive next to a train. And now, that wish has come true. I wonder if it... Oh, no, it just went in a tunnel. Alright, goodbye coast, and goodbye train. I didn't want to have to do this. I hope he gets the fine for running into that car. Yep. This wasn't planned. He just can't drive himself, can he? Goodbye. I shoveled him off like a snowplow. Is that a hot? <gasps> it's a hot dog place. I love hot dog places. Oh boy, I can't see. Ice cream truck. Do I want ice cream? I want ice cream. Hey, ice cream truck. Ice cream. Wait, come back. Ice cream truck. Enter. Where do you need it? Confirm. Are you scrubbing it or are you making it? Hey, can you hear me? Oh, you're a. Uh, you're scrubbing it, aren't you? Oh, good boy. You're a good guy. You've got my approval. Good job. Now, uh, time to deal with this. Well, I can say one thing. That is the longest trailer I have ever driven. It's been, like, extended or something. Anyway, we are finished with our mission, as I like to call it. Oh, we were late. Well, we went a completely opposite direction, so guess what? Me, no care. As you can see here, I'll show you the two types of trucks that I want to get. There's two different ones. Um, Let's just take a look real quick. Visit Selected Dealer. Yep. Alrighty. That's the one I have. It's a smart truck. Here we have the uh, get the job done truck, which has got much more horsepower than the other one, and is um, got the same fuel tank. Well, the other one, this is the one that's more for comfort. It's got uh, the same horsepower as the smart truck, but double the fuel, which is really good. It's not driving; it's trucking. That is a very good motto. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time for episode 6, which will be back home or something like that. I don't know. It's a long ways all the way up to Las Vegas. Or, oh yeah, Las Vegas is there. It's a pretty long ways, especially um, seeing that the roads are like, like, there's no road like that. It, like, you have to go all the way back this way to get up there. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.